Tell him they're dreaming, Mr. Kerrigan, please. Tell him he's dreaming. G'day all, Taz Daz here again. Welcome to my latest video. Thanks for stopping by. Today, McDonald's released some new burgers. So they've taken three of their chicken burgers and added cheese and bacon. And they've called them new burgers. Very original, very creative, very McDonald's. So of course I had to try one and they've added the cheese and bacon to the McSpicy burger. So I thought, why not? Let's give that one a crack. Um, $10.10 for the burger. Yeah, not a cheap burger at all. Um, I've weighed it, it's just on 230 grams. So not a lot of weight to a burger that's um, over $10. So I'll put the cost per kilogram up on the screen for you. And here it is in the box. So what is it? It's basically a quarter pound of bun. You've got your um, spicy thigh fillet um, patty. You've got uh, Aussie Jack cheese, you've got bacon, you've got shredded lettuce, and you've got McChicken sauce. So there's not a lot to it. Um, as I said, it's only 230 grams. So let's open it up and have a look inside. Oh my God. Someone was having a bad day in the office at McDonald's today. It's only like 11.30 so, and they weren't busy. Oh, geez. So that's how it's come out. So you can see there, we've got our spicy thigh fillet. We've got our melted cheese. Oh yeah, the bacon's on the bottom. Um, got our lettuce. So let's um, kind of assemble this up ourselves. Make it actually a little bit presentable. And for a $10 burger, completely underwhelming, completely overpriced, considering you can get a Zinger stacker for $8.95, or you can get a Zinger stacker with cheese and bacon for like, $9.95 oh dear I guess it's all about the flavor though so let's give it a taste test and we'll give it a score out of 10 One of the problems with having such a long beard is getting all the food in it. So it's got a nice little zing to it. Got a little bit of the cheese flavor, a little bit of the bacon, a little bit of the chicken sauce. Pretty good. Um, I'll give it another bite, but the um, chicken's nicely cooked. It's nice and moist. So the patty itself is um, not a bad size. It's nothing overwhelming, probably about the same size as like a Zinger fillet or maybe a little bit bigger than KFC. One more bite for a final verdict.
All right, so the McSpicy patty is really nice. It's a little bit of heat to it, nothing too major. Probably maybe a little bit spicy if you're not into spicy foods at all. For me, I'd give it a, a 1.1 1 .1 out of 10 on the spice scale. Um, really didn't get much cheese flavor in the end. Really didn't get all that much bacon flavor in the end either. Pretty underwhelming. So for $10.10, .10, it's an absolute bloody joke. There's no way that burger should be over $10. At best, it should be probably $8.50, something like that. I was looking on their menu and they had a, um, a clubhouse burger, a spicy clubhouse burger, which is chicken and bacon and cheese and tomato, sriracha sauce, Big Mac sauce. So it's got way more than this and it was cheaper. So I only got this because it's new so you guys could see it. Would I recommend it? Not at that price, absolutely not. Um, the flavors are okay. There's nothing majorly great about the flavors. As I said, the cheese and the bacon was lacking. So overall, um, for um, value out of 10, I'm gonna give it three out of 10 for value. It's bloody atrocious, the price of that burger. $10.10. .10. Tell him they're dreaming, Mr. Kerrigan, please. Tell him he's dreaming. Um, presentation, three out of 10. Don't know whether it moved around in the box. I never did anything to it. It was horribly presented out of the um, packet when I opened it. So yeah, three out of 10. Someone had a bad day at the office, as I said. And flavor. It's all right, it's nothing fantastic. I'll give it seven out of 10 for flavor. It's edible, it's got a little bit of spice, kind of lives up to that name, I guess. When you talk McDonald's and KFC and spicy, it's all pretty tame. Got to um, please the masses, I guess. So yeah, overall, pretty average burger, terribly priced, not good value at all. Would I recommend you buy it? No. Definitely not, not for that money. Maybe if you get a 20 or 25% off, um, you know, promotional reward thing in the um, app offer, which will bring it under $10, then maybe it'll be worthwhile. But for $10.10, .10, they can stick it. Yep. All right, so that's gonna be it for this review of the Cheese and Bacon McSpicy Burger. If you like the review, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I really do appreciate it. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you to everybody that supported the channel in one way or another. Thanks again for watching. Underwhelming, but we're back into the reviews. More to come. Thanks for watching again, and I shall see you on a future video. Bye. Oh, McDonald's, you never fail to uh, disappoint me.